right, so we are gathered here today to explain how to download GNU Emacs on Windows. So as you might be able to see, we are now at the, U the following URL, http colon slash slash ftp dot gnu, that's g-n-u dot o-r-g slash gnu, g-n-u slash emacs slash windows. Emacs is e-m-a-c-s. And um, so this is what it looks like. Um, you can find that with Google. Good luck, though. Um, it took me a while to figure out exactly what's the right one. So just you can use that URL to quickly cheat and go there. Um, so here's what the top of the page looks like, so you know. And then uh, let's scroll down to where all you know, read through all that garbly bureaucratic junk. And then I just happen to know that the thing that we want is called emacs 23.3 bin 1386 zip. And we're doing this in our first try. So we clicked, what'd you do? Click right on it or left? Left click. Click left. And so we see something happen down here on our, on our, what kind of, what version of Windows is this? Um, this is uh, Windows 7. Windows 7. So now what, now what did you do? You clicked, what did you do? Click left. Or, um, or it's you, still downloading. Oh, it's still downloading. it. So, okay. So we wait. And we wait. So if we wait more than 10 seconds, I'm going to try to hit pause, which will probably mean the video will stop. And then we'll just make a new video. But, um... So dum dee doo dum dee dum doom Opening in three... Oh, opening in zero seconds. Oh, and so this new window pops up. And see, it's in Jonathan Downloads Emacs whatever. Uh, so, um... So, oh, and there, so there's that thing, and um, so I'm reading my directions again. Click to right and shows the extract option, right. So click right, I waited several music for it, right. So then, you know, do what you normally do, which is, um, hmm, did it already unpack it, maybe? It might have. Um... See, I don't think it did. So wait, go go back, because I've I've yeah. So click right on it, or left or right. Oh, it, huh? Maybe it already unpacked it. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be what I usually get as behavior. Right. Um. So maybe that's not the zip file. Oh, I probably just downloaded the bin. Well, that's fine. Yeah, that's what we want. The bin. But. So it's good to see us problem solve on the video because it'll help teach you how to problem solve unless you're an, an expert. Um, you, uh, you know, if you're an expert, you're watching us going, God, these guys are a bunch of idiots. But we're not aimed at you. We're aimed at people who are idiots like ourselves. So um, let's see. So next I found the zip file. I right click and chose the extract option. I waited several minutes. I uh, finished, it seemed to work fine. I had to navigate manually to desktop, then into Emacs, and maybe a few other folders. Finally, bin. Then I found the .exe, the file, the .exe file called Emacs. There was also Rune Emacs. I don't know what that did. I'll play with Emacs. It worked okay. So we're, so right, we're in desktop. Oh, we're actually in downloads. So, yeah, oh, click on that guy, and then bin. Like I said, <laughs> right? I said, you know, find the Emacs folder, then go to bin. So here, you know, this is what our path is. Your path may differ. Uh, when I did this on other Windows machines, I got a different path. Um, so you'll see a bunch of things, you know, like, like, uh, what's that say? eBrowse, Emacs, Emacs client. Well, like I said, when I was reading my instructions, what we want is Emacs, right? And to be sure, if we go over here, it says application. See, they're all applications, so we definitely can execute it. So I think double-click, right? Is that how you... Yeah, so we double-click now. We just double-click. Oh, so it says this application may depend on other compressed files. Uh, it is recommended that you first extract those files. Okay, good. So extract all. And then um, select a destination. 
Um, you know, better to isn't it better to put it in applications or um, whatever your exec wherever you put apps executable? Um, I think it'll install to applications. Thing. Well, I mean, but it says right here, right? It says it will oh. be extracted to this folder, which is in mm -hmm. your downloads. Right. So, I mean, it'll work. It'll just be a pain to navigate mm -hmm. to it. Um, computer, Windows 7, Program Files, maybe, or X, Program Files x86. Yeah, I don't know. Do you know <laughs> where to put it? I'm not sure. Uh, I can make a new folder inside of program files. Well, but it, it I think, will make its own folder, won't it? Or I think Let's see. Structure to this folder. Hmm. I think I need to make a new folder. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So. Make new folder. Okay. So just call it Emacs. Now it looks like it's wanting to put. Okay, right. So, right, so you put that in program files dot x86. Okay, yep. So, yeah, hit, yeah, hit OK and stuff. Oh, then we hit extract down there. And then continue on this. And then there we go. So, copying 3,800 items. God! I can't get so many items. Anyway. So we're copying. It's going to have to wait 60 seconds. Um, and uh, Richard Stallman should be very happy with us because Richard Stallman wrote Emacs and he wants to give it away for free, but, um, you know, just between you and me, I wish that their user page had a, you know, I am a newbie button and, or link, and then the newbies using Windows could just simply follow very, very clear written instructions, maybe even a video like we're doing this, except, you know, we're doing this in one take. So, um, you know, I can't even hold a camera still, so. Okay, so that looked like it's finished, and sure enough, we're in computer, Windows 7, program files, Emacs. So like I said in my instructions, you click on Emacs and then you find the bin, right? And then you find Emacs and you'll notice it has that little icon which means it's executable ac ap application. So double click on that. The poser cannot be verified. Are you sure you want it? Yes. Okay, so now there you go. So now just a quick thing, type control X, control F or you could use the yeah, so that's that says that's find file, and then, um, you know, you try to not use that, because we don't want to add stuff to this bin folder, right? We want to add stuff to your home directory, you just make a junk file. So do you know how to write, do you know how to specify a path to your home folder? Um, not sure. So, so like, jump to the beginning with control A, and then jump forward a little bit and then control K but I mean it, it isn't the um, you don't remember what users or something oh. or um. desktop or I don't know see I never understood uh, I can never get my mind wrapped around see I think users so hit tab tab again okay so so, so yeah, t and so just type S, and then tab. Tab is your friend, and then J will just tab. Yeah, good, see? When you hit tab, it completes it for you, so if it doesn't exist, you don't waste your time typing it out and then finding, oh, no such file or directory. So, so now just, you know, call it junk dot txt or something, or txt, whatever. anyway, in return, and, you know, just type something random. And then you can either hit Control X, Control S to save it, or you can use the GUI up here, and you click on File, Save. And so there, you see down here it says Wrote, and there you go. Now using Emacs is a whole other thing. I bet there's lots of YouTube videos, lots of manuals. Have fun. Talk to you later. Yeah, is there anything else too? Um, I think that should be it. Okay, have fun. Bye.